respect to any one major bio core discuss the distribution of vegetation across the world classic example of how you will not know what to write if you do not know what this term means theek hai isme kuch idea bataoge what what can be written if you have heard about something no this is not rems no it's not phytogeographical rem no it is not now let me explain this distribution of plants isko padhne ka kitna tarika hai you can study this in terms of the evolutionary history you can study in terms of the climate based distribution you can study in terms of the types and the formation of vegetation you can study in terms of how plants were introduced in agriculture to so, agar aapko padhna hai distribution of plants and animals these are the four ways of doing it you can also study in terms of inter species and relationship between elements of nature okay say i want to study plant distribution these are the five ways of studying it ab geography hi chal raha hai okay this is geography the moment i say distribution it is geography distribution in terms of interspecies relationships and between the elements of nature anybody knows what is this approach called this is the ecosystem approach what is this approach called study in terms of evolutionary history isko kya bolte hain what is this yes this is the bio geographical rems the plant kingdoms animal kingdoms what is this approach called studying plants in relationship to the climates this is biomes what is this called in terms of introduction into agriculture isko kya bolte hain studying the gene pool centers now what is this called in terms of types and formations of vegetation this is biocores and for most discussions biocore may be considered as same as biomes theek hai so basically i am telling you one more term that's all okay ek term jaan lo because if they ask you bio core aapko pata nahi hai you will not know what to do fir aap chhod ke aa jaoge so how many types of ecosystems we have we can have terrestrial ecosystems marine ecosystems terrestrial ecosystems mein okay we have forest ecosystems we have got grassland ecosystems we have desert ecosystems we have swamp ecosystems wetland ecosystems estuaries ecosystems you can go on there what are the different type of ecosystems biogeographical rems you know the terms like neotropical paleotropical you have got uh, uh, ne arctic okay pale arctic notogean australian and all of that this is the biogeographical rems okay biomes you know equatorial biomes desert biomes mediterranean biomes grassland biomes tundra biome taiga biomes and gene pool centers you know the gene pool centers the mexican rem the ethiopian rem the indic rem chinese one you know the gene pool centers eight of them the easiest one given by vavilov nikolai vavilov at least you know what these terms mean the distribution of plants or vegetation kya matlab hai iska now come to bio core i said bio core is on the basis of types and formations of vegetation types and formations so bio cores bio cores is on the basis of type and formation isme there are four of them forest bio core savanna bio core grassland bio core and desert biocore under forest biocores 
we have equatorial forests we have monsoon forests we have taiga forests we have mixed forests savanna includes the tropical grasslands of africa of south america this is the campos and also the llanos in africa it is called as savanna the grassland biocore this includes prairies steppes and tundra and the desert one includes tropical deserts the cold arctic deserts and the cold mountain deserts now in upsc increasingly they keep asking new new words okay so i don't want you to get trapped because ek naya word pooch diya nahi pata hai you are trapped okay so just giving you some terms some words biocores so biocore is on the basis of types and formations of vegetation desert includes tropical deserts sahara desert arabian desert cold arctic desert the polar regions and the cold mountain desert ladakh is an example of a desert biocore they asking you take up any one biocore and explain so i think don't take forest because forest bahut bada ho jayega you can't handle it the the grassland biocore is good or even savanna is fine savanna mein do hi likhna hai aapko largely the savanna africa wala campos and llanos campos in brazil llanos in part of venezuela is it okay acha now you remember the bio geographical rems there is animal kingdoms and there is plant kingdoms animal kingdoms given by slater wallace schmidt plant kingdoms mein we have anglers and taktjans this is the latest one like new bigin yes new bigin scheme i hope you know these names new bigin scheme is what they asked once और मैंने कहा है आपको आपको कुछ भी पूछे एनी थिंग दे आस्क यू रिमेंबर दिस इर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वॉट दे आस्क यू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन वॉट एवर दे आस्क डोंट केयर अबाउट द नेम कैन यू टेल मी हाउ विल यू नेम दीज वन दिस इज नी arctic two is neotropical three is pale arctic four is paleo tropical five is oriental six is australian also called as notogean seven is patagonia and southern andes Eight is Cape Province. Nine is Antarctica. Guys, will you remember this? So you are discussing how the plants and animals are distributed. Okay. So the distribution in biogeographical realm studies what? It is. It studies the distribution of plants and animals. on the basis of evolutionary history on the basis of history and evolutionary relationships it includes impact of climate it includes tectonics it includes speciation studies also so what do you mean by biogeographical realms biogeographical realm is the study of distribution of plants and animals on the basis of evolutionary history and the evolutionary relationship it includes the effect of climate how does climate impact plus how does tectonics impact plus how does speciation impact ye teeno cheez mila kar how are the plants and animals distributed one of the first person to give this concept was this man called wallace a r wallace in 1880s mein he came up with some concepts 
1880s. He was inspired by Darwin's ideas. So Sclater, he gave a map of how the birds are distributed, animal kingdoms, and Engler scheme, Taktajan scheme, and New Bijin scheme. They have talked about the plants. So now what I'm saying is, now they already have asked New Bijin once, and they have asked some parts of Schmidt. Notogian, Notogian term was used by Schmidt. So they can ask you again. So for that, you cannot study scheme of each one of them. It's impossible to do it. So what I have done is, I have given you a generic one. Aap e general wala yaad rakho. This is North America. This is Eurasia. This is South America. This is Africa. This is South Asia. This is Australia. This is Antarctica. The different continents ke alag alag naam hai. Is it okay? Now, uh, they already have asked a question on paleotropical pooch diya hai. They have asked on Australia, they have asked. And they have asked very specifically New Bijin, the whole scheme. I will tell you some details of some of them. Two, three of them, jaan lo. I think they can ask you on this. They can ask you on this. Okay, do possible hai. This they have asked. They will not touch this. This is too big. They might ask. Again, okay, Africa. So if you know one, two, three, four, more or less, you can cover. Okay, so now remember, I'm giving you a table here. This is to help you. Kuch bhi poochega, I don't think they can go beyond this. So, ni Arctic, this is North America. Neo Tropical, this is South America. And I will add Pale Arctic, this is Eurasia. Okay? Now, New Tropical is also called as Neogene. This term Neogene was used by Schmidt. Schmidt called Neotropical as Neogene. Whereas some other scholars have called Neoarctic and Neotropical together as Neogene. Okay? So what I'm saying is Neotropical is also called as Neogene. And in some other references, Neotropical and Neoarctic together is called as Neogene. Ne Arctic and Neotropical are also called together called as. So Neogene term can be used for both together or only for Neotropical also. Now what you should do is for each of them talk about the geographical location. Talk about fishes, reptiles, birds, mammals. These are the four categories you'll talk about. So Ne Arctic Explain, this is North America, this is Canada and US. It has the Northern Arctic regions. It also has the Prairie Plains. It is mostly a temperate latitudes. Talk about the geographical location of Nearctic. Okay, Nearctic is North America. Nearctic is US and Canada. Near Arctic is entirely in the regions of okay, temperate latitudes. It has the grasslands, the plains. Like it has a lot of diversity of deserts. Talk about it also has a coniferous forests of Canada. Describe whatever you know about this. Similarly, describe South America or Neotropical Rim. Kya likho ya? Neotropical Rim. This is uh, South America, large countries like Brazil, Argentina, Venezuela, etc. It has Andes mountains, it has Amazon forests. Again, a lot of diversity in terms of Patagonia deserts. It also has the grasslands, grasslands of Brazil and the grasslands of Venezuela, Orinoco Basin, Guyana Highlands. Okay, Bolivian Highlands, describe the place. Is may ek paragraph ban jayega. Can you describe Pale Arctic? This is largest one, Eurasia and Asia, largely the temperate regions of Eurasia. 
it includes again deserts grasslands of steppes it includes taiga forest the tundra regions mountains of the alps go on there theek hai to describe the geographical region ye tino mein kuch bhi puchega you can describe it now come to fishes mein fishes mein one common fish you can talk about is carp carp is there or carp is not there us debate mein so carp carp india mein rohu bolte hain carp this does not have carp this has carp and a very important variety called as salmon carp pata hai i'm sure you know about cod you also know about herrings okay carp is one common name do you know any fish variety of south america have you heard about some fish variety of south america pirana pirana fish no carp but they have pirana fish amazon mein flesh eating yes pirana fish theek hai now reptiles new tropical has maximum reptiles new arctic also lots of reptiles but pehle arctic it has few reptiles you talk about the birds birds new tropical has the most colorful varieties pehle arctic also has variety of birds new arctic mein the only unique species is turkey there are birds jo unique species hain found only in new arctic is turkey and there are other birds mammals mein new arctic is the home major home of rodents rats pehle arctic home of camels and large mammals and new tropical it has less mammals but many unique mammals unique mammals may if you know about uh, llama you heard about llamas they are like camels and they i'm not saying all other life forms don't exist baki life forms also exist yes correct yahan par you have got lot of what's called as new world monkeys okay and uh, an important feature of the new tropical areas is a property called as camouflaging they camouflage mimicking mimic they can mimic the sounds they can mimic the appearance the background is black they can quickly change colors into black the background is green okay they can quickly change the colors to green and they can camouflage camouflage ka matlab kya hai they can hide themselves this is a very important feature of the neotropical